Secrets. Hey there, all watchers. Welcome to another episode of Until Roll Secrets. It's me, back with some piping hot tea. That's about to make Buck Palace look like a walk in the park. So grab your popcorn, guys. It's spicier than a curry night. So our favourite ex roll is at it again. Just when you thought the bullying had died down, bam, they're back at it like a bad penny. And this time, it's not just the courtiers and staff worth uh, taking... Flowers, people, it's a hard-working florist. You're so proud of your work that you snap a pic of a bouquet and put it on the gram. No names, no tags, right? According to these fresh allegations, Megan went full Cruella de Vil on this poor florist. We're talking a 30-minute screaming match over the phone because the flowers on social media didn't mention her name. Talk about overreaction. I mean, come on, Megan, for someone who's about privacy, she can sure be the opposite when it suits her. But wait, it gets better. The florist is now apparently blacklisted, Megan. <laughs> That's right, folks, the woman who was supposedly going to revolutionise the monarchy can't even get a bunch of daisies in Tinseltown anymore. It's unbelievable. And it's not the flowers. We've got former staffers coming out the woodwork as well, piping up. And where there's smoke, there's usually fire, right? But hold on to your fascinators, because here comes the kicker. Right on cue, like clockwork, we've got Megan's BFF swooping in to save the day. Apparently, Megan's still all about that unconditional love. Yeah, that's all the florists uh, needing therapy. The friends going on about how rare Megan's gem is. I'm sorry, but is it the same Megan, the one who ghosted her entire family? It's like we're living in two different realities. One, we've got Megan, the merciless, leaving a trail of traumatized employees in awake, and in the other, she's practically Mother Teresa. And let's not forget about poor Harry in all of this. Poor guy's probably wondering if he can trade his what Megan wants, Megan gets lifestyle back for his old royal lifestyle. You know, I almost feel bad for them, really. Almost. But then I remember all the drama that they've caused. All the people they've hurt. And suddenly my sympathy evaporates faster than Megan's acting career. Now, let's be real. If even half of these allegations are true, Megan's not just burning bridges. She's nuking them into orbit. It's like watching a car crash in slow-mo, except the car is a Rolls Royce. And it's being driven by someone who swears they know how to drive, but keeps hitting every tree in sight. But here's what really gets me. The hypocrisy of it all. Megan's all about mental health and kindness, but behind the scenes, it's a different story, and don't get me started on the privacy thing. She's more selective with her privacy than I am with my dating profiles. How dare you spill raw secrets on international TV? Look, I get it, being in the public eye is not easy, but you know what else isn't? A screaming match of throwing your employees out on the street, and at this point, I'm starting to think Megan's PR team deserve a raise. Or a medal of honour, because keeping this woman's rep, the float must be like trying to bail out the Titanic with a teaspoon. Now, what's next in the saga? Will she start a feud with a gardener? One thing's for sure, as long as Megan keeps providing us with top-tier drama, I'll be here ready to spill the tea. Let me tell you at this rate, we're going to need a bigger teapot. Remember, in the Game of Thrones, you either win or you end up blacklisted by the entire horticultural industry. And right now, it looks like our favourite ex-royal is losing. Stay tuned. Something tells me it's far from over. Until next time, keep your tiaras polished and your phone on silent. You never know when Megan might call y'all.